And here we go. This is the best of three. I'm going up against Metagross Man. And I am going to pick Blacephalon. Let's go. So my decks are <laughs> uh, Blacephalon, Unbroken Bonds, Malamar, uh, Mewtwo with Trout Noir, and Blacephalon GX with Naganadel. He has chosen to ban um, my... Uh, he's chosen to ban my Mewtwo deck. And uh, he is playing... Ooh, wow, that's not a good start. Um, he is playing Malamar Weezing, um, Blacephalon Unbroken Bonds, and Obstagoon. And I have chosen to ban his Obstagoon because, wow, um, there are just a few outs. He, 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 if I banned... If I let him play Obstagoon, he would ban the... Um, he would ban the deck that um, <laughs> that has, you know, actually has outs that plays evolution cards. I picked Blacephalon on Unbroken Bonds, anticipating that he would... Oof. Um... I want to hold on to that fire. Yeah, anticipating that he would play Weezing Malamar first, but clearly he did not. He's picking Blacephalon on Unbroken Bond, so it's a mirror match. Mm. And I'll attach. I'll get fire later if I need it. So no turn one supporter, but it looks like my opponent's going to get a turn one supporter. And I've given him uh, an out for energy in the form of the giant hearth. So I'm hoping that he doesn't have the scoop up net, which would be what he needs to get out of the active position. Um, let's see. Oh, he's playing only two scoop up net. And he's got Tapu Fini for the mirror, which is very unfortunate. I do not. Now, the good news is he's got one, two, three, four, two prizer cards. So maybe he sets one down and I get a sweet two prizes off of it. Yep, he's got Cramorant V, Blacephalon GX, Dedenne GX, Zacian V, and Oracorio GX. That's five. Five two prizers. And I'm thinking, thinking the Blacephalon GX might just come in real handy here for one of us, if any of us gets down to just one prize. It saved my butt a bunch of times. Now, unfortunately, since I started with this Oricorio, if my opponent has the Great Catcher, then switch there we go so that's how you get out of the two retreat cost if he has great catcher ooh, that hurts all right i'll get something off of this fire crystal i'm not gonna fire crystal for one hmm. all right that was rather epic um 
<laughs> well, I've got more welder than I know what to do with. Yeah, all right. So I'm not gonna need a lot of energy here with fire crystal. And <laughs> that's a lot of welder. So we might, this might just be a little trade knockouts party. Mm. Does my opponent have any hand disruption here? No, none. So I can just hold on to everything safe. Yeah, no reset stamp, no Marnie. Um, yeah, let's just fireball circus for three. And let's just hope my opponent misses a knockout. I'm gonna adjust my mic here just a little bit. So I'm using a chair I don't think I used during my last recording. There we go, I get to sit up a little bit higher Move the mic just a, in just a little closer. All right, so there, there we go. He's got the Blacephalon. He's got the welder, and his hand is huge. It's very unlikely he does not have the um, does not have the knockout this turn. So the good news is my opponent's only running one great catcher. So that means he's only got one opportunity to pull up a GX. So with any luck here, he has um, you know <laughs> he's just he's just prized it. What does my opponent have to get the Jirachi out of active position here? He's playing one escape board. Oh no, no, this is my fear that it, that it wasn't prized. But so here's the thing, I have a Blacephalon ready to go. And I'm running two Great Catcher, so I can just Great Catcher up his Oracorio. So he'll be in the same boat as me. But it's not a race to draw six prizes, right? It's a race of who gets to six prizes first. So if this is the pattern that holds up to the, the, the whole game, then yeah, he'll get it first. Now, unfortunately, fortunately for me, his B... Oh, hey, great catcher. I needed you. Thank you. Um, so let's see if we can just get something to get this Jirachi out of active position. We, we get it. Um, we don't need any more basic Pokemon right now. Stellar Wish. Um, we've got 10 energy here, counting the discard pile in play in hand. Now let's just get Flint. Which is cool, because, you know, he's not going to disrupt my hand. Mm. Mm.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I need four to knock out Oricorio. Yeah, so let's just uh, weld her onto this guy. Just because we can. Make my hand bigger. Again, my opponent has no hand disruption at all. Now let's just great capture that sucker up. So, now my opponent, just like me, when he knocked out my Oricorio, he still has a Blacephalon powered up. So, he's still got, you know, a way to attack. So, we'll probably just be trading blows the whole game. Oh, there we go. So, there's the critical piece for the mirror match. And, obviously, he doesn't need to welder this turn. He can certainly welder if he wants, just you know, just to get some draw off of it. But there we go. <laughs> and he's gonna switch, or not? Okay. sent Drachi up. Oops. Actually, I still can, can I? Let's see how am I doing on fire crystals? I think I've played three. And then he'll just kill me with Tapu Fini. Just, just pray he uh, he can't recover after this. So if this Blacephalon had been a um, a Victini Prism Star, then he'd actually have to put some effort to get a knockout. good. I could actually use that. Hmm. Um, yeah, man, let's go for it. You know, I might not have, I might not have the Victini in the deck. telling me he has Blacephalon GX in hand. Um, well, I'm just going to I'm just going to play it out anyway. I'm sure he's just being nice trying to speed the game up. And this is where it would be helpful to have, you know, some hand disruption, because that would be an out to having um, him having his uh, Blacephalon GX in hand.
And there we go. Alright, I just let my opponent know I'm going first, game two. Just waiting for my opponent to send the challenge. <laughs> Alright, so I'm down one game. I gotta win the next two. My opponent's declining my challenge. Something. This must be just a game bug. So my opponent is now going to, going to play the Malamar Weezing. And now here's... Hmm, all right. And now here's the downside is after I, in theory here, I have to beat him with, <laughs> with this deck. And then after that, um, then both of us will only have one choice if I beat him, game two. For game three, I have to play Blacephalon GX, which I don't want to, and he'll have to play Malamar Weezing. And my opponent logged off. Okay, so my opponent disconnected. So what do you think? Do you think I picked the right order? Do you think my opponent picked the right order? Um, do you think I played the game optimally or not? <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. I started with Oricorio, so I had no choice in the matter of whether he would get uh, a free two prizes. And if if he did not KO my Oricorio, if everything else went the same and he did not KO my Oricorio, I would have won the match. I had Blacephalon GX in hand. I had game in hand as as soon as I got that last knockout on the Tapu Fini with my Victini Prism Star. I was just gonna um, burst GX for game. So yeah, uh, still waiting on the challenge. Um, my PDC Geo says he is online. Here we go. And I am electing to go first game two. You know, this deck plays the evolution card known as Malamar, so I will gladly go first and delay that Malamar happening you know, as long as possible. And you saw my match with Malamar in the previous recording, uh, round two. Uh, and this is round three of the tournament, if I didn't mention that already. I'll put it in the video description. But uh, in my round two match where I played Mewtwo Malamar. All right, not bad, not bad. thin out my deck. Yeah, I kind of do. And I want to hold on to my great catchers, though. 
All right, critical stuff. Oh, I'm missing my Oracorio. That's fine. Because that's just stuff that he can spread to. All right, one of my welders is prized. Attach and go. So, um, he's got um, Blacephalon, I think Cosmic Eclipse. He's got the Psychic Blacephalon. Um, hopefully, when I'm at four prizes, he magically has his Oracorio down. And I just great catcher it up. And I go immediately from a four prize turn to a three prize turn. Um, he's got Chaotic Swell, which... Is, you know, surprisingly, it's not that big of a problem for me. Um, I've beaten decks that run Chaotic Swell before. And let's see if he tries to confuse me. So here's the downside of playing no evolution cards. If they confuse me, there's really no way out of it other than to play Switch. All right, so I'm going to knock out the NK. So no turn two Malamar. Hooray! I'm still going to thin out my deck here, though. Thinning is winning. Jirachi. Let's see. Which I will not play yet because I don't want him to spread. I don't want him to put damage counters on it. Um, and we'll do two for 100. And let's just hope this is a real quick donk here. A turn, turn two, wheezing. And remember, if I win this match, I still have to defeat my opponent with a um, Blacephalon GX. Oh, all right. So I am not going to deplete my opponent's bench. He will put something on the bench here. is playing twin energy um, he's playing horror psychic energy um, which really will help his numbers um, you know especially when since he's got the spell tag there we go. Yeah. so one more of those and I'm dead hmm so I'm just gonna knock him out um, hmm. yeah. let's does he have Mr. Mime? he doesn't have Mr. Mime um, yeah let's just chuck that and get two energy actually all right, I think I'm going to die. Oh, dang it. Yeah, let's just hope he has a really bad hand. One, two, three. Wait, I was afraid the Blacephalon was going to get knocked out. It's not getting knocked out next turn. Or it's not getting knocked out at the end of this turn. All right. There we go. All right, so let's just pray my opponent just gets garbage here off this draw. Oh, wow. A clean professor's research. Man, high five to my opponent. He's probably got all kinds of good stuff now. Putting down that wheezing. Come on, come on. Does he got it? 
No, he doesn't. Uh-oh. He attached a twin energy and retreated with it? That's wild. Okay, huh. That is very weird. All right, I'm just going to start putting energy back in. Dead draw and misplay, my opponent says. Broken heart. Um, oh, you know, I could. I could scoop up this Blacephalon. Mm, nah. Now I want the knockout. So let's attach here. Yeah, just one. Nice. I could still skip up the Blacephalon. Um, yeah, but I won't. do too and we'll get a knockout and hopefully uh so he, he still has he still has a way to attack right because he still got three more twin energy in his deck all right marnie uh you know that's fine my hand isn't that dope so he's running four marnie so i've got four energy in play five in um discard it's nine. I've got seven energy in deck. My deck's 32 right now. All right. Oracorio. So he's getting desperate. And that's funny because uh, <laughs> he just got rid of my uh, my great catcher. All right. He's got to get something cool off of this, uh, off of this Oracorio. One of my favorite uh, ability names, Dance of Tribute. You know, you're just playing a game, but, you know, it just, it sounds really, uh, I don't know. It sounds like you're doing something really important, really, really beautiful, really impactful. But you're just drawing three cards. But it's a tribute. It's a tribute to your fallen comrades. Where's that twin energy? Where's that twin energy? He's going to kill me with the twin energy. And who's he putting it on? There we go. Got some spread action going here. And it looks like he missed the uh, Blacephalon. So I'm going to try for it. I'm going to try to get a knockout on that Oracorio. Looks good. <laughs> I was trying to get my aura choreo. Gosh. Oops. All right, well, I'll get that instead. I'll get something dope off of this. That's not bad. Thank <sighs> you. 
Just thin out my deck a little bit more. And I'm going to stall my opponent, actually. Because I didn't get what I wanted. I'm stall him out. Um, and I guess I'll attach. Actually, I don't need to attach. Put down that. And Intrepid Sword. Because I can't Dance of Tribute. Alright, that's good. Still don't got that Welder, though. So hopefully... This is a predicament for my opponent. All right, that is not a predicament. So yeah, let's Welder. Get some attacks going on here. Um, here. And see if we can get that Great Catcher. Nope. But we're going to keep trying for it. I know, I'm filling up my bench. I'm, I'm making my bench big. I shouldn't be doing that. All right. deck even more um yeah we'll get that <laughs> There's my Oricorio. And yeah, I'm going to try for the Great Catcher next turn. I try for the Great Catcher, take two prizes. Oh man, he's about to get a whole bunch of prizes. Is not a welder. None of that is a welder. Circus for three. And see if my opponent has the math.
All right. I think he's got it. So I was really looking forward to getting a good KO off of that um, Oracorio, but it just just did not come to fruition. He gets all the knockouts he needs just in time. Perfect numbers. Good job, Metagross man. So what do you think of that match? Uh, it, was there anything I could have done better? Is there anything my opponent could have done better? Links to our social media are in the description. Links to event information and other stuff is in the video description. Please like and subscribe. Put a comment down there. Uh, YouTube loves it. You know, the algorithm and all that loves it when you make comments and stuff. Um, we love it when you comment on our Twitter, when you comment on our Facebook. Uh, give us a follow. Thanks for watching. Area Dose. Goodbye.